This weekend, a definitive ranking of Americans was announced to the world. The competition was fierce, with new contenders vying for spots held by longtime favorites, while one star outshone them all. Yes, C-SPAN and Siena College released their expert survey of American first ladies. 39 first ladies were judged by historians and scholars in 10 categories, including public image, value to the president, being her own woman, no, I've done the best I can to lead my life. and of course, value to the country. For the fifth time since the survey began in 1982, Eleanor Roosevelt clinched the top spot solo and with husband Franklin Delano as part of the survey's top-ranked couple. Here at the Roosevelt Memorial in Washington, D.C., the highest-ranked first lady looms large. She's the only first lady to be included in her husband's monument, and there's even an acknowledgment of one of her own accomplishments, her membership in the first American delegation to the United Nations. Roosevelt famously advised wives on the campaign trail to lean back in the parade car so everybody can see the president. But after 12 years in the White House, she was as much a star as her husband. Eleanor Roosevelt really took the first lady position and made it politically and socially relevant in a way that no one had ever done before. And we still remember her for that reason. The current First Lady, Michelle Obama, is already ranking high on the list, placing fifth overall. She swept the competition in her ability to manage family life while in office. My most important title is still Mom and Chief. Well, it is not at all unusual for a current First Lady to be very, very popular, and this helps explain why the role has grown so much in the 20th and 21st century. Presidents are increasingly polarized. First ladies rise above politics. But fashion's favorite first lady is, of course, Jackie O, who received top votes for public image and being a steward of the White House, whose treasured art and furniture she famously took pains to preserve. Thank you so much. The sixth place finisher may soon run to be in a category of her own. The former Secretary of State and Senator, Hillary Clinton, was deemed the easiest to imagine as president. She isn't benefiting from what every other first lady in this poll is benefiting from, and that is the loss of partisan polarization. She just finished up as Secretary of State in a very polarized environment. The unfortunate title of last place first lady was given to Jane Means Appleton Pierce. She was noticeably depressed from the death of her son. The author Nathaniel Hawthorne even referred to her as that death's head in the White House, which may have contributed to keeping her from the head of the list.